is your love tank to Good morning guys, Doreen here. So today I wanted to talk about something that my daughter brought up yesterday and that's anxiety and more specifically she gets um, spurts of anxiety or urgency to do something or a numer number of things all at once and then she she feels like really really motivated but unfocused and not able to accomplish any of them and um, one of the suggestions I gave to her I'm big on writing lists I'm big on writing things down in general and it's helped me a lot but one of the things that I've learned also with writing lists is not just to mock down the things that you need to do but writing them down so that you can delete the ones that you're unable to do or at least not now for instance I recommend it to her when she's feeling that way to just write everything down that she's thinking of it doesn't have to be even in complete sentences just to kind of brainstorm everything that she's thinking write it down on paper this way she's getting it out of her head and onto paper it's not like a hamster on a wheel going around and around and around in her head and then she's feeling kind of unfocused and not being able to do anything um, feeling you know that anxious feeling so write it down and then maybe not at that moment but later on when you're not feeling so anxious overwhelmed look at the list and start to um, look at the ones that you can feasibly do or that you really feel strongly about and eliminate the ones that may be not such a good idea or at least not now um, you know if it's if it's a year or, or five years down the road you can take it off the list for now you don't have to keep it there um, and then when what you have left over the things that you want to do prioritize and put them in order of importance ones that you can do right now and ones that maybe have to wait a little bit um, maybe weeks or months not, not too far off in the future so this way you can kind of like get all those motivational ideas down on paper you don't want to hinder that either so I think the brainstorming idea is great write it down no matter how foolish you think it may sound even at that time just write everything down and then later you can go back and eliminate the ones that all right maybe it's kind of a little bit too too out there or you know too further down the road and prioritize the remaining ones that you kept on the list I'm also big on um, schedules you know the discipline of doing things um, in a certain amount of time or when you do those you know having some kind of structure to your day or weeks or or month even and it's not necessarily like you have to write everything in stone I mean you're gonna have a basic structure of things that really don't move whether that be work school um, you know eating um, and then you're gonna have some of those things that are gonna fluctuate depending on what happens so but it's good to schedule them in there um, like I like to schedule family time I have scheduled family time once a week I don't necessarily have family time once a week but it's available if, if something comes up or something other than family time may come up that I need to tend to if I have a big exam and I have to do some more or paper due and I have to do some more work around that um, then I can reschedule that so it, so certain things on your schedule can be you know flexible certain things not so much um, having things written down and knowing that uh, you're not going to forget because they're written down I think helps with the anxiety as well I think a lot of times what what happens with anxiety is just it's a whole bunch of thoughts at once in your head 
and the act of writing them down gets them out of your head and concretely in front of you so you can look at them and address them one by one so you're not overwhelmed. I hope this helps you. I hope it helps my daughter. I gave her the same advice. I uh, hope she applies it. Check it out. Try it. Couldn't hurt. Um, if you like my videos, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, the like button. Follow me on Recovery Enthusiast. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I got a blog on motivations for you. It's motivations with an S, the number four, the letter U dot com. I also have a podcast, kind of, um, I've been playing with on Anchor. I'm not sure how you can find me on that other than look on Anchor. Or, um, you know, Doreen Cunha. You can Google that. I think that's how you would find it. And um, also on TikTok, haven't really did a lot on TikTok. I've been playing around with it. Um, it's down on my priority list. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you like the videos. I hope you have a great day. And as always, stay blessed and stay grateful.